Hello my people, good morning, welcome back. We are here again with another news. <laughs> this one is uh, coming from Aloy Ejimako. Of course, you know IPOB lawyer Mazinam Dekano's lead counsel. Yes, he is telling Tunubu <laughs> and Nigerians to always use their constitution when they are doing anything. He said any election that is contested and the case is in court, that there should not be any anything inauguration until the case is settled. Unless, unless that election result is not contested. Unless it's clear to Dick, Tom and Harry that it was not rigged, it was free, fair and credible. Then that means the case did not come to court at all. That is how you can, you know, inaugurate the person free and fair, and that will be constitutional. But this one, eh? <laughs> Nigeria has got to the point of no mequatarism. I don't know if you have noticed it, especially when it happens to Yoruba or Fulani. They don't follow constitution again. Yoruba is even better, but this one that they are pushing to Nubu this way, know that the hand of Fulani and Britain is in it. The case is in court. Why don't you what they why don't they go to court and then finish up? It can be extended. I mean the inauguration date. It can be extended. Definitely one person will be inaugurated. Yes. If the court clears that Tunubu wins, they will have their evident, tangible evidence, evidence everywhere that oh I won this election, this is my proof. And if you can debate it. You know clearly and have your victory why not that means double victory you can now smile home with your victory and presidency but no that is not the case obi went to court obi said come to court they told him if you are angry go to court he went to court with his evidences a lot of evidence because everybody noticed that uh, that election was shabbily rigged it was rigged anyhow, without considering the intellectuals involved, without considering the age of people involved, without considering the uh, stat the status of people involved, and the long suffering of Nigerians, because Nigerians have suffered too long that if they see any way to better their lives, they will do it. So this election would have been the best election that Nigeria would have, like. To decide the fate of Nigerians. That was the reason why people turn up in mass. They say we must vote. Let us change let power change hand. They came out in mass without any rancor. They came out. But what they saw during the polls, their eyes, what their eyes saw, their mouth cannot say it. Uh -huh. That is why Obi said no. I must defend the effort of this these people, this youth. That believe in me and believe that there will be new Nigeria. Do you think you'll be carrying new wine and you'll be throwing it in, into an old jar? If you are taking new wine and you are throwing it inside an old jar, what happened? What happens? It will burst. The jar will break into pieces. Nigeria cannot continue in corruption. Nigeria cannot continue that way. There's always a time of a changing point or point of changing. Yes, and that point of change is now. If they miss it now, probably because uh, he's an evil man, he's bit of B, he's this, and they fail to address this issue, Nigeria will break. Nigeria will scatter. People, you know, when you are saying something they have not seen before, <laughs> they will not believe you. They won't believe. That was how Nua was telling people that, oh, it's going to rain, it's going to rain, it's going to rain. Get ready. They said Nua is a very stupid guy. It has not rained before, so um, who told you Nigeria will break? It is natural. Nigeria will not continue in this mess. Yes, it's, it will be for a time. Sodom and Gomorrah, we are messing up, messing up, messing up. And today, is there any place called Sodom and Gomorrah? The answer is no. 
this one now is not even a country in the first place to talk about it lasting too long. No, it's going to end. It expired 100 years when it was 100 years. And that's why the hijackers of power don't want you to say anything agitation. They don't want you to say anything concerning history at all. They don't want history at all so that you not trace your origin. You not trace the end of Nigeria to know what happened and what's supposed to happen. So this is actually what uh, Aloy Ejimako is saying. Say Aloy Ejimako, it said it's unconstitutional to swear in a winner of an election whose victory has not been affirmed by the court. The special counsel of Mazinam Dekano, Aloy Ejimako, has warned that it is against the constitution to swear in To swear in a winner not affirmed by court, he raised the unconstitutional issue. He raised the constitutional issue ahead of May 29 inauguration of uh, President Select Bola Ahmed Tunubu. Jimako said it is unconstitutional to swear in the winner of an election whose victory has not been affirmed by the court. He pointed out that the winner of an election can be sworn in when the election results were uncontested. In a chat with Daily Post, Ejimako, Ejimako stressed that no law in Nigeria permits the swearing in of a winner when the election result is being contested in court. Yes, they are going forward, moving forward like train. Because he's an Igbo person. Had it been is between Fulani and Yoruba, you will know that constitution must take, must have its line. Because Yorubas will not allow what belongs to them to be given to any other group. They will tell you they will destroy Nigeria. But it seems Igbos are now powerless that their words doesn't hold water. Who has done this to Igbo? What is bringing this? Why are we not together? Why can't we defend that which was given to us? Why can't we, you know, back Peter Obi? That is why, um, Ohanes and Dibo, if they're not backing Peter Obi, if they're not saying that his mandate should be returned to him, if they are going at the back congratulating to Nubu, then they're not supposed to be Igbo leaders. Because this is a slap on Igbo face. If you think it's by Peter Obi, then you're a fool. You're not reasoning well. The same thing that happened when Mazinam Dekano was, you know, abducted. If you think it was Mazinam Dekano that was abducted, then you're a fool. It's actually the Igbo race that they abducted and they held in captivity. You can imagine, but Mbazudike Amechi let now went to seek for the release of Mazinam Dekano. And they turned him down. Dick, Tom and Harry, they have said their own. Fulani said no. For you to know is, is a regional issue. Fulani people in government are the ones holding Namdekano down so as to hold Igbos down. You had Omahi the other day lamenting, Oh, Tunubu, you did not include Indi Igbo in your 15-man uh, committee, whatever. <laughs> that one, as if it's not enough. They are doing their thing, excluding the Igbos. Looking for black gold when there is light is key. <laughs> but if we do not do that, we may all live to regret it. Thank you very much for your time on this channel. God bless you.